What's up, Basil Bays? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Banger. How you doing? About it. I was thinking about the other day. Some people ask me, Who's your, your Bobby's your favorite? Bobby's your favorite. It's like I don't really have a favorite. They're just all different. Clint, I'm just totally frustrated with him. So at this moment, he is not my favorite. But he is my most jovial child. He's a silly one like me. But he's he's on my last nerve right now, so I can't deal with that. Sydney is just moody. She's moody and she's a new Christian or she's young in her faith, you know, a couple of years. But she's at a stage of, I don't want to say judgment, but she want to judge other people. I don't want to say, I'm, I'm probably not using the right words, but she's at a stage, oh, don't say that. Oh, that's not God. Like, so you can't really be yourself. You kind of hold back a little because, oh, is that. Now, I do know some Christian, I'm like Christians who've been born into Christian, Christian, and they don't pass judgment. They're like, you are who you are. If you want to curse or you say curse word, oh, well, say what you want to say. Don't have anything to do with me. I'm still going to love you. Doesn't mean I'm going to like everything you do, but go ahead, be yourself. Be you. Yeah, so one of my teachers is like that. So, you know, and Sydney hasn't reached that point yet. So, therefore, that's probably possibly why she lost some of her friends and stuff and she's backing away with some friends who don't you know fit right with her spirit so i get it both ways and so bobby she's not moody she's just like mad cool so sometimes i'll go in her room and i could be myself i could be silly she laughs i could just be me be free those of you know me you know i'm silly i things just fly out of my mouth I, I, they just come on out so, um, I could just be me. So maybe that's why I'm, if I'm somewhere, I'll be in Bobby's room. She's down for whatever. So it's, it's different. So they're just all different. I get a different piece from all of them. Like I went to church with Sydney today and I said, Bobby, when I get home, you know, Sydney goes to the teen church and she'll walk me to my section. It was really good. It was really good service. Sometimes I just wish it was a little more diverse, but I understand it's the area I live in. Sometimes people just sometimes I, it seems like some, I don't know how to say this. Sometimes it's not that I don't want to say like sometimes it's, I'm not, it's not awkward. It's not awkward at all. But you know, when you're just the only black person in the room, it's just like, oh, hey, <laughs> hi, hey girl, <laughs> praise the Lord, mm -hmm. amen to that, mm -hmm. hello, mm -hmm. uh huh, good morning. And then the pastor always got to say, go ahead and greet someone today. I just washed my hands, bro. I don't want to shake anybody's hand, but then I suck it up. You're doing it for the Lord, Joy. Do it for the Lord's, okay? Yes, good morning. Yes, uh huh. Good morning. Uh huh, good morning. And you know, just sometimes I just don't feel like being the only sister in the house of the Lord, but this sister does not feel like driving. 40 minutes to get to the other church where I fit in, <laughs> where there's no, where's the opposite, the antithesis of diversity. One over here, one over there. Which pill do I want to swallow? The one that's five minutes from my house and I still get a good message. But the message was really good. It was good. It was about humility and not always having to be right. It was good. I'm not going to go into a service, honey. But I received the message. And it was, I received the message, okay? So, um, so it was a good service. So, you know, I do certain things with Sydney. And then I do a lot more with Bobby because of basketball. You know, Sydney is a drop off. Bobby, I got to sit there and wait. And then I went to the play with Sydney. So, it's all, it's, they're just all different. They're just all different. And Clint, is, he's, he's on planet Pluto. Didn't they say we don't no longer have a Pluto? Well, he found it. <laughs> he is on that planet. I'm not talking about him because, you know, since you know that makes my nerves bad. So let's just go on to the next topic. And I don't talk to y'all to death.
already anyway but thank you for hanging out with me while i ate my noodles i was like why should i eat my noodles alone when i could just sit here and talk to y'all eat the noodles but i plan to go live during spring break just let me make it through this week this week is gonna be tough y'all it's gonna be tough bro you don't know i got a lot I got a lot, a lot of, um, <laughs> I have a very diverse, um, class and I got a lot of forms to fill out a lot Dang. and basketball. Bobby plays basketball every Tuesday and Thursday, every Tuesday and Thursday to nine 30 at night. And then you guys should see the schedule of games and practices for the summer. I'm going to, just so I have sanity, I'm going to have to be very selfish, guys. And I'm going to feel so guilty. I'm sorry, I'm going to feel guilty. My life has been given up for my kids. They didn't ask to be here. But I have given up my life for them. And this is why I'm so ready to reclaim my life and live for me. Because I sacrificed for them. And and I was I would I would strongly say that was part of a big part of the demise um, of my last relationship the kids and I knew that and I knew that going in I said the kids is what's gonna break us up and I knew that I knew it so I'm just ready I'm ready I'm ready to live and and sadly I can feel me getting a little emotional I'm not crying I'm just I'm too tired to cry sis but um I waited I had kids late in life but I had a lot of fun child I can't run on that. <laughs> I did. I did. I had a lot of fun. But, um, a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, I did have kids late in life, but, man, I'm ready to live again. So, it's like I'm ready to get my second win, even though I'm much older. I don't care. I'm gonna get me a hot 25-year-old child. What? They'll be an adult? What? <laughs> I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I don't think so, y'all. <laughs> so, I have some other stuff to share, but we'll do it at a later time. So, um, with that said, I will talk. You know I have the talking problem, okay? I will talk to you guys to, to what? Go ahead, finish it. I'm going to talk to you guys to what? So I know you guys made it to this part of the video because you know I say it all the time. And thank you for tuning in into my chaos where I make lemonade out of my lemons. Yes. And another reason. See, here I go again. And another reason why I really, really wanted to go to church. You know, my struggle is real. Y'all all know my struggle is real. But I am. The struggle is real. Real, real, sis. But I, I am still amazingly, amazingly blessed. Yes. So I wanted to say, you know, there's a lot that I don't have. But I'm so blessed and I feel so grateful for what I do have. And you guys are also a part of that. I was talking to somebody new. Just getting to know them, a new friend. Just getting to know them, right? And I was like, um, my YouTube family and i don't like to tell people that i do youtube with my little five subscribers because i feel as though it's an unfair advantage they get to know me my whole y'all know my whole life is on youtube you can google my name and pages and pages and stuff pops up even outside of youtube and um i feel as though it's an unfair advantage they get to know all about me all about you know they see all my uh lemons and then they could pass judgment. Oh, I want to talk to her. I, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Mm, I can't be bothered with that hot mess. So I feel as though it's an unfair advantage. You get a peek inside my life, but I can't peek inside yours. So this is why I don't tell people. But this one person, 
they were smart. <laughs> they were kind of smart. <laughs> Didn't know my last name. Just my first name. And they were like, they showed me something. I was like, but that wasn't for you to do. I would have I would have shared that part of my life with you when I was ready. They was like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I was like, it's all right. You're going to find out, you know, sooner or later. So go ahead and keep digging. Because sometimes when you digging for stuff, you find stuff. So go ahead and keep digging. Call me in a week and let me know if you're still interested. So anyway, that's how that went. <laughs> Not that you're going to find out anything bad, but I'm like, bro, you know. So, and I just wanted to, you know, go to church to say that, you know, I'm grateful. All the things I'm grateful for, even though the struggle is still real. I'm so blessed in so many ways. And I know, you know, so many people, you know like me love me appreciate me appreciate the vid videos you know all five of y'all you know i appreciate that i appreciate you guys listen to me run my mouth i do appreciate that so i wanted to go to church and um be thankful for that thankful for um the wonderful people that i work with you know that they they show me kindness and so on and so forth and and my kids they could be worse we're gonna pray for clinton but it could be worse and the girls, my girls are amazing. I was talking to a lady today. She was like, at least you got two good ones. <laughs> you can't get, always work it out right. I was like, you're right about that. But, you know, Clint may surprise us all. We just hold him up in prayer. And hopefully he'll come around. He's going to have to come around. Sister is tired, though, bro. She's tired. She just needs time for herself. So I think I was saying something before, and I cut myself off. Oh, this turning long, y'all. Um, I think I'm going to have to be selfish and just, like, just take a week and just leave. Just, just go. But then I'm going to feel so guilty. The guilt is going to be real. I was like, because I'm going to feel like, well, I could have bought groceries. That's why, oh, those kids need a new pair of shoes. Oh, those kids need some new pants. I need workout clothes. My, my little, um... Pants have holes in them because I like to wear um, yoga pants. I don't, I don't like the little tight skinny, skinny like that. I like to wear yoga. It's like, and then I feel guilty getting myself something. I just feel guilty. <laughs> like I need to be buying groceries. <laughs> so I said, you know, tax time is coming around. I said, maybe I'll treat my, you know, never, I still never got my birthday present that I wanted, I wanted for myself. So I said, maybe I'll just, I'll just feel guilty and just treat myself to something or a little day trip or something. I just, mm. all right, sis, I know I talk to y'all to death. I'm just going to leave this whole video as is. Y'all watch it. Y'all can watch a little bit here, watch a little bit there. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for always being supportive or five of y'all. <laughs> But I do, I do appreciate it. It's a lot of you connect with what I'm saying. Some of you do, some of you don't. But you know my heart is in the right place. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> so Bobby and I, Joy, just in the video, stop talking. Stop talking, Joy, because now it is. Oh, my God, bro, it's 1030. I can't go to bed until I clean my room, bro, and change my lock. <laughs> but I need to get to bed. So Bobby and I had a discussion about basketball. She's so sweet. She's sweet, guys. And see, Bobby, I'm sorry. This is just going to be long. What the hell? So Bobby, and see, Bobby is the one. She, she'll send me sweet messages. And she, she thinks about things. And she's reflective. She's more like me in that sense. She's more reflective. Bobby is really my spiritual twin. She's my, she has a heart like mine. Um, we're kind people. So Bobby is going to need someone who compliments her. She doesn't need to be completed. She needs to be complimented. So when she gets with someone, when she's older, all right, aunties, uncles, and cousins, she's going to need someone who's feisty. I always need someone who's feisty. Like the person, we're just conversating. Nothing, nothing. So we're just conversating 
um they asked me what was my sign and they said their sign they said they said they're like fire you know they're whatever and I was like oh well that's good I said because for me I need someone who's feisty because I'm too nice so I need that balance in my last relationship the other one they were feisty <laughs> and so I needed that balance um so no I'm talking to a few people talk to a few people just I just decided to get put my get out a little bit so anyway that will be another vlog so Bobby just sent me a text and she says please don't let this situation ruin the rest of your night because at the end of the day it is not your problem and it's about something else and she says at the end of the day it's not your problem it's not it's, it's not I don't I don't I don't want it I don't I just can't take on I can't take on anymore and you know what as they say whether you're religious or not but God only gives you as much as you can handle I'm at the end of my rope bro and when stuff happens I was like well I guess he thinks I can handle this <laughs> Yeah, so she, so Bobby will send me cute little notes, make me cute little cards. Um, the other kids don't do that. <clears throat> Although I still don't get my robe, so anyway. <sighs> so maybe I'll just not look at the room. Take me a nice, hot, long shower. I'm going to change the lock, though. That's what I'm going to, I need to change the lock and change the, um, the how I got to go get the, um, I'm going to change the lock. And I want to change the battery in the smoke detector, but then I will have to go downstairs and get the ladder because these are vaulted ceilings. I'm too tired, bro. I got to rush to bed, bro. <laughs> because I got to get up early. Let me see what my alarm is set to. Why am I on it? Why am I still talking to y'all? Y'all done probably went to sleep and dozed off at this point. <laughs> Oh my God, I haven't talked in private. I talk too much, bro. This is terrible. So my alarm, oh, my alarms are off, child. Let me put my alarms back on. I got to put this one, I got to put that one back to 430. I'm going to do 420 because then I'll snooze for 10 minutes. 422 a.m. Save. Then my next one is 523. That means I should be getting off the treadmill at that point. And then I, my next one is at 615, which means you need to be headed downstairs making your coffee or whatever. You need to rush because you got to be out the door by 630. 645. <clears throat> so these are my alarms. And don't look at my nails, guys. I, I, I'm going to get it together. That's the one treat. Those are my alarms. I said I just it's just been rough it's just been rough so those are my alarms that I have set so that's why I'm gonna rush to bed because I was not a good girl this week so with that said good night and I will see you next time